For today's tutorial, I'm going to be starting out with the long-awaited Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'm super excited to be trying this product because it's been a long time and it's been super hyped out. So I'm interested in seeing how it's going to look um, with the final makeup look. And for foundation, today I'm going to be using my Giorgio Armani uh, Luminous Silk foundation in the shade 3.5 and I am going to be using my beauty blender to blend it all out. Continuing on, I'm using my YSL translucent powder which I'm only going to be using a little bit under my eyes um, solely just to avoid any eyeshadow fallout. For eyebrows, I am using my Charlotte Tilbury brow lift um, to make the outer shape and I'm going to continue to fill it out using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Mousse in the shade Rich Brown. Onto my Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette, the star of this show. I am so excited about this palette and I am going to be starting out with the shade Amber, which is a really pretty burnt orange shade and I'm going to be filling in my outer crease um, using Amber. To darken out my crease even more, I'm going to be using the shade Oud, um, which is one of my ultimate favorite shades in the whole palette. And on the top, I am using the color Amethyst, uh, which is a really pretty purple, which is in the center of the palette, and I am using that to fill in the center of my eyelids. On to the glitter um, textured eyeshadow, I am using the color Royal, which I'm just using my fingers to dab on on top of Amethyst and um, I am going back to the Rose Gold palette using Black Truffle for my lower lash line. For my eyeliner today, I am using Kat Von D's ink liner in the shade Trooper. Um, the felt tip was a little bit rough for me, which I don't particularly like, but it came out okay. For mascara, I'm using my favorite YSL, The Shock, um, and I'm just going to be layering it on for my lower lash line. I'm using NARS Creamy Concealer um, just to highlight um, a few points in my face, which I think needs a little bit of color correcting, and I'm just blending it out with my Beauty Blender. Next up is Fenty Beauty's um, Creamy Contour Stick in the shade Mocha. I've always loved creamy contour sticks and I'm really excited to see if Fenty's contour stick is going to be blending out well with my foundation today. We'll see. So far, I'm really really liking the color and because I think it has a natural warm undertone to it, so it's not too harsh against my skin, against the shade of my foundation also, and it's blending out um, really, really well so far. And of course, after contour, I love to put on some bronzer. So I'm using my go-to Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow, just to top up a little bit of the contour and to smooth it, to smoothen out all the lines. On to blush, I'm using YSL Blush Volupte and I am going to be applying the blush on the apples of my cheeks and I'm just going to be dabbing um, the blush a little bit under um, both my contour lines just to give the look a little bit of a fresh touch to it. On to highlighting, I'm using Huda Beauty 3D Highlighter Palette and I'm going to be mixing the color Santorini and Azores and I'm going to be highlighting my nose and my chin. But before that, I have a new product that I'm trying out today which is my Stila One Step Illuminator. Um, I have been looking for this product for a long time and finally I'm trying out this um, creamy illuminator so I'm going to be using it on my cheeks before I use the powder highlight um, serving as kind of a base to make the highlight pop out even more.
You can never go wrong with a pair of all of these. Every look needs it. And of course, you have to curl it after. Well, this is how I like it because it makes it fan out more and I, I feel like it makes my eyes pop out more. For lips today, I am using Huda Beauty's Liquid Lipstick, which is my ultimate favorite, in the shade Bombshell. Um, I think this shade goes from day to night super easily and I love the consistency of this lipstick. And last but not least, I am going to be using Fenty Beauty's Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Mean Money and Hustla Baby. But because I've highlighted already, I am just going to be using the rosy color of Mean Money and putting it right under where I highlight it. So there you go, you guys. This is my take on Huda Beauty's Desert Dust Palette and a few products of um, Rihanna's Fenty Beauty. I am so in love with these products and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be using this in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,